More than 100 hospitals in Texas are receiving cases of the antiviral drug remdesivir. The shipments are coming from the Texas Department of State Health Services as part of a donation from the drug maker Gilead. Early clinical trials showed the drug can help COVID-19 patients recover faster. The FDA gave emergency use authorization to let patients use remdesivir. But President Trump is drawing attention to a different drug. He told reporters he's taking hydroxychloroquine. That drug also has emergency use authorization from the FDA, but it's not formally approved for preventing or treating COVID-19. Politics reporter John Engel found a Texas doctor who says she's used the drug to successfully treat some of her patients. He looks at why the state group that guides doctors is not recommending the drug. And so when you, when you Dr. Ann Shippey says she's already seen success treating COVID-19 patients using hydroxychloroquine in combination with zinc and other supplements. But the FDA cautions against its use outside of the hospital setting or clinical trials, saying there's still no proof that it works and it could cause serious heart problems. He's not keeping my patients from getting sick enough to have to go into the hospital. Shippey says she too recovered from COVID-19 and treated herself with hydroxychloroquine. She says technology allows her to monitor oxygen levels and heart conditions while patients are at home. When I talk with my patients on a daily basis and, and I see them responding so quickly, you know, sometimes 24 hours, but definitely 72 hours, I can feel confident about it. Would you prescribe this to one of your patients as either a preventative or a treatment for COVID-19? No, I would not. I the would Texas not. Medical Association does not recommend hydroxychloroquine for preventing or treating COVID-19. What's your reaction to the, the Medical Association saying that we don't recommend this right now? I don't really have a response to that. I, I think it's, it's easier for me to, to feel comfortable with it because I've seen it work. Epidemiologist Dr. John Carlo says there are too many risks and not enough data. I don't think this is going to be the one. Um, and I certainly don't want to have the message that this is something that everybody should go out and get because uh, it's just simply not indicated right now. For State of Texas, I'm John Engel. Thanks, John. Another concern is whether expanded demand for a hydroxychloroquine will keep other patients who need the drug from getting it. It's used to treat lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. According to the data firm Premier, orders for the drug spiked 260% the first two weeks of March. It's kind of hard to find any kind of closure when the guy's in limbo. A woman's murder at an Austin gas station leaves her loved ones still seeking justice 20 years later and a schizophrenic suspect stuck in an aging system. We investigate coming up.